California is executing infrastructure investments at a scale that matches its status as the world's fifth largest economy. While headlines focus on housing crises and wildfire seasons, the Golden State is quietly deploying hundreds of billions in strategic construction that will fundamentally reshape how 40 million people access water, move between cities, and experience urban life. We're talking about a water conveyance system designed to secure Southern California's supply for generations, a reservoir so massive it will become the state's largest surface water storage project in half a century, and an airport modernization program eliminating the chaos that has plagued LAX travelers for decades. From a mixed-use entertainment district rising on 300 acres in Inglewood to studios positioned to broadcast the 2028 Olympics globally, these aren't incremental upgrades. They're declarations that California intends to maintain its position as America's innovation and infrastructure leader. And the project topping this list isn't just a train. It's a 500-mile high-speed rail system connecting San Francisco to Los Angeles that has survived decades of skepticism, budget explosions, and political sabotage to become the most ambitious transportation project in American history, proving that even in a state famous for abandoning megaprojects, some visions are too important to kill. Number 5. Hollywood Park Spanning nearly 300 acres, Hollywood Park is the largest urban mixed-use development under construction in the western U.S. being built by Los Angeles Rams owner chairman E. Stanley Kroenke. This isn't just another development. It's a complete transformation of the legendary Hollywood Park racetrack into what developers call a city within a city, anchored by the already completed SoFi Stadium and now expanding into film production infrastructure. Hollywood Park Studios will initially serve as the host site of the International Broadcast Center for the 2028 Olympic and Paralympic Games, which will house hundreds of media rights holders from around the world who have acquired the exclusive rights to distribute the coverage of the Games. Construction on Hollywood Park Studios is slated to kick off this month and will join the likes of SoFi Stadium, the YouTube Theater, and NFL Media's office building in filling out the media and entertainment element of the development. The first phase of construction includes five 18,000-square-foot sound stages, two of which can combine into one 36,000-square-foot stage across a 12-acre site. A three-story, 80,000-square-foot office building will support production and post-production operations. After the Olympics, the facility will transition to full-time film and television production, with potential expansion to 20 sound stages. When complete, Hollywood Park will include up to 5 million square feet of creative office space, an exceptional retail district reaching up to 890,000 square feet, a 300-room hotel, and up to 2,500 sophisticated new residences. When Hollywood Park reaches full build-out, it won't just be Los Angeles' largest mixed-use development. It will prove that entertainment infrastructure can anchor genuine urbanism, that stadiums can catalyze mixed-use districts rather than remaining isolated single-use facilities, and that the 2028 Olympics will leave behind permanent production infrastructure rather than the white elephants that plague most host cities. Number 4. Sites Reservoir Sites will provide an additional 1.5 million acre-feet of storage capacity, making it one of the largest new water storage projects in California in decades. Sites Reservoir is a key component of the governor's water strategy and will capture water from the Sacramento River during wet seasons and store it for use during drier seasons, holding up to 1.5 million acre-feet of water, enough to supply over 4.5 million homes for a year. This isn't just another reservoir. It's California's most aggressive bet that off-stream storage can solve water scarcity without the environmental destruction of traditional dams. In January, the Department of the Interior awarded Sites Reservoir $129 million in federal funding, building on earlier commitments to bring the current total to $646.15 million in federal funding committed to the project. In August 2025, Governor Newsom announced a nearly $219 million funding increase from the California Water Commission to ensure the project moves forward as quickly as possible. The additional funding is needed as a result of added costs from delays, including inflation and expected construction cost increases. But here's what makes sites genuinely revolutionary.
Let's think of Los Vaqueros for Contra Costa County, the San Luis Reservoir you see when you drive south on I-5, Diamond Valley in Los Angeles. All of these are off-stream storage reservoirs. They rely on us basically pumping water during times of high flow into them, storing the water, then saving it for use in the dry times. Unlike traditional dams that block rivers, sites diverts excess flows only during extreme storms, leaving water for fish and wildlife. The authority launched a competitive procurement process with the release of a request for qualifications for a reservoir construction manager at risk, CMAR, to construct the up to $3 billion reservoir. With construction set to begin in 2026, Sites Reservoir is positioned to become a cornerstone of California's water management strategy. When Sites Reservoir begins operations in 2032, it won't just store water. It will prove that California can build massive infrastructure in the 21st century, that off-stream storage can balance supply and environmental protection, and that decades of planning and political battles can culminate in the water security California desperately needs as climate change transforms the state's hydrology. Number 3. One Beverly Hills Construction has begun on One Beverly Hills, a nearly $5 billion condominium and hotel complex that promises to transform the Beverly Hills skyline and be a commanding presence on its western edge. The complex set to open by early 2028 is expected to house some of the priciest condos and hotel suites in the country. A pair of 31- and 28-story residential towers will rank as the tallest buildings in Beverly Hills. This isn't just another luxury development. It's the complete transformation of 17.5 acres into what developers call an urban resort. Vertical construction has officially begun following extensive progress since the project broke ground in 2024, including demolition, drilling geothermal wells, utility installation and infrastructure, and site preparation. Phase delivery will begin in 2027 with the Amon residences and commercial space. Plans call for the construction of a collection of mid-rise and high-rise buildings containing a combined total of 255 condominiums, 79 hotel suites, and approximately 30,000 square feet of commercial space. But what makes One Beverly Hills genuinely transformative is its botanical ambition. The botanical gardens will be cultivated by landscape architects RIOS and feature over 200 species of California plants and trees, including palms, oaks, sycamores, succulents, and olives. The development will employ a central geothermal system, which uses the temperature of the earth to naturally heat and cool water, thereby reducing the number of cooling towers needed and saving millions of gallons of water annually. When One Beverly Hills opens in 2028, it won't just be luxury real estate. It will prove that even ultra-premium developments can integrate sustainability, that vertical density can coexist with botanical landscapes, and that Beverly Hills can finally build towers worthy of its global reputation for luxury. Number 2. Delta Conveyance Project Delta Conveyance Project is a $20 billion plan proposed by the California Department of Water Resources to build a 36-foot, 11-meter diameter tunnel to carry fresh water from the Sacramento River southward under the Sacramento-San Joaquin Delta to Bethany Reservoir for use by the State Water Project and the Central Valley Project. The $20 billion water conveyance project will feature a 45-mile, 36-foot wide tunnel beneath the West Coast's largest estuary. This isn't just another water project. It's California's most controversial infrastructure gamble, designed to secure Southern California's water supply while facing opposition from virtually every environmental group in the state. The Delta Conveyance Project will modernize water infrastructure in the Sacramento-San Joaquin Delta by making physical improvements to how we capture and move water during wet years for use in dry years with a tunnel system. The project is intended to restore the reliability of the state water project and ensure California's largest supply of clean and affordable water for 27 million people and 750,000 acres of farmland is protected from earthquakes and climate-driven weather extremes. If the project were operational in 2024, it would have captured 941,000 acre-feet of water, sufficient to supply over 9.8 million people for a year. Its two intake facilities will draw river water through protective fish screens, under the highway, and into sedimentation basins.
As the water clarifies, it will move toward the intake shafts and drop into the tunnel system. But here's the reality. Construction will mean years of noise, air pollution, dust and traffic for Delta communities. Once operational, the intakes will be capable of diverting 6,000 cubic feet per second of water. The current schedule anticipates the permitting to be completed by the end of 2026, with construction beginning in 2029. The project will be operational by the end of 2044 or the beginning of 2045. When Delta Conveyance finally becomes operational, if it survives decades more litigation, it won't just be a tunnel. It will be proof that California can still execute mega infrastructure despite environmental opposition, that water security can justify displacing rural communities, and that Southern California's thirst will always override Northern California's resistance, no matter how many times voters reject similar proposals. Number 1. California High-Speed Rail the 171-mile segment between Merced and Bakersfield will be the first part of the line to be operational, with services expected to start between 2030 and 2033. Of that section, 119 miles are currently under construction. The California High-Speed Rail Authority today brought one of the nation's largest rail infrastructure contracts to market, a $3.5 billion request for proposals that will deliver the first true high-speed rail track and systems ever built in the United States. This isn't just another train project. It's America's most ambitious transportation gamble, a system that has survived decades of skepticism, budget explosions, and political sabotage to become the nation's first genuine 220 miles per hour rail system. As of April 2025, 52 structures are complete, 32 are underway, and 8 are not yet started. 69 miles of guideway are complete, 27 are underway, and 23 are not yet started. In the week of October 27, 2025, the authority announced the completion of two more structures within the 119 miles of construction underway in the Central Valley, bringing the total number of completed structures to nearly 60. The authority has completed track installation at its 150-acre railhead facility in Kern County. Positioned at the southernmost end of the Central Valley segment, the facility functions as the logistical hub for high-speed rail materials, allowing freight trains to deliver track and systems construction materials directly to the point of installation. Of the more than 14,500 jobs created since the start of the high-speed rail project, work generated more than 3,200 jobs that went to residents of the Central Valley. But here's the reality. The full Merced-Bakersfield line was expected to be complete in 2029. By 2025, authority plans were for the IOS to be completed in 2031. The Inspector General, however, determined the IOS was unlikely to be operational by 2033. Cost estimates have exploded from the original $33 billion to projections now ranging between $89 billion and $128 billion for the full San Francisco to Los Angeles system. The 2025 Supplemental Report provides a clear path forward to connect the high-speed rail system to Northern and Southern California via the Central Valley by 2039, contingent on securing stable, long-term funding that remains politically uncertain. When California high-speed rail finally connects San Francisco to Los Angeles, if it survives the next administration and the next budget crisis, it won't just be America's first bullet train. It will be proof that the United States can still execute infrastructure at the scale that defines serious nations, that California's ambition hasn't been completely strangled by nimbyism and cost overruns, and that sometimes the projects everyone declares dead refuse to die grinding forward through sheer bureaucratic momentum until they become too expensive to abandon and too close to completion to kill. From Hollywood Park's Olympic Broadcast Center to the world's longest water tunnel securing Southern California's supply, the Golden State is proving that infrastructure ambition can coexist with environmental opposition and budget chaos. These five mega projects represent over $150 billion in investment, fundamentally reshaping how California stores water, moves people, and accommodates growth. So which project impressed you most?
the site's reservoir storing 1.5 million acre-feet off-stream, LAX's people mover finally ending terminal chaos, the Delta Conveyance Tunnel facing environmental fury, or California high-speed rail refusing to die despite decades of skepticism? Let us know in the comments below. If you enjoyed this breakdown, don't forget to subscribe for more deep dives into the world's most ambitious mega projects. We'll see you next time.